hello guys welcome to my channel uh, today we will see how to download global basimetric data and we will try to uh, create or prepare basimetric map using arcgis pro so it is a free uh, data which can be downloaded from the gbook uh, website for free so uh, we are going to access first to download the data and then prepare uh, basimetric or water topography map so uh, when we say basimetry or basimetric mapping is essential in maritime industry and uh, a research activity to understand the seafloor terrains or topographies and, uh, and identifying hazards and locate uh, resources so basimetry refers to the measurement of the depth of water in various water bodies such as ocean seas and the lakes so basimetric map are designed to show the under surface topography including the depth contours in the bottom features such as ridges trends and the channels so here we are going to download the data for free and prepare this topo uh, basimetric uh, map so uh, this basimetric mapping has become more efficient and accurate and it is user friendly by use special tools and uh, methods so uh, these maps are essential for marine navigation and exploration ecological studies and uh, ocean ocean researches or coastal uh, mapping and planning so arcgis pro is a geographic information system software that is used by professionals in diverse fields such as environmental management urban and coastal planning and resource management and it is a comprehensive software package that allows us uh, to create edit manage and analyze your spatial data by the users uh, by the using the geo processing tools uh, various spatial uh, analysis tools so to get this data, which is uh, basimetric data, there is a global uh, uh, data set stored in a website which is called General Basimetric Charts of the Ocean, or a short form in GEBCO, a General Basimetric Chart of the Ocean website. It is a comprehensive global data set that provides information about the depths and the shape of the world oceans and the seas. So it is a collaborative effort between the International Hydrographic Organization and the Intergovernmental uh, Ocean Commission. So everybody can download or access the data for free and create a topo a biogeometric map and do some uh, ocean and sea related researches. So this data set is uh, comprised of a digital uh, biogeometric model of the world ocean covering areas from the coastal zone down to the deep parts of the seabed and it includes data from over 230 million deep soundings collected from a variety of sources including uh, ships satellite and uh, other oceanographic instruments so it is collected from different sources and uh, it covers our entire uh, ocean and uh, seas on this world so this data set is widely used in a variety of applications including navigation, marine resource management, scientific research and uh, climate uh, modeling and uh, uh, monitoring. So the data set is regularly updated and uh, improved as new data become available which uh, helping to ensure that it remains one of the most comprehensive and uh, accurate source of oceanic basimetric information in the world. So uh, to the, this Tutorial is a step by step approach on downloading basimetric data from the uh, this website or general <coughs> oceanographic and um, basimetric chart of the world website. Importing the map, pip. then once we have downloaded the data from this website, we are going to import it in the map out the data into the ArcGIS Pro and creating quarters from the data uh, then we will finally prepare the basimetric map or topography of the under surface uh, underwater surface using the contour representation 
So first to get or to download the data, you have to go to this website. I have already provided the link on this video description. It is a global or general basimetric chart of the ocean, GEBCO website. You can get the link on the uh, website. So uh, go to uh, the website first. Once you get on the website, you get uh, many options and uh, more description about this data. Uh, there are also many other data sources on this website. You have uh, news medias and uh, trainings. You have also CBED of 2030. You can also get different products and uh, uh, information about the data set. So once you get on the uh, website, go to this uh, read more under graded basimetric data. Just click the read more. So here you have an option which is uh, download data for the user defined area. Just click on this uh, link. And this leads you to this website or this window and just click the uh, this map interface which is access the jvco grid download uh, application and this will lead you to the interface that help you to download the uh, data so once you get here uh, just select the uh, data set from select the grid version i'm going to download the data for 2022 just select it and go to your map area and the area of your interest and uh, to select the region or uh, your study area just click your control and select the area using your left side mouse this will uh, create a rectangular area that helps you to download the uh, data once you have selected your uh, study area go to uh, this option and select the format or download format uh, you have to select the duty one under the grid uh, version select duty format then uh, click this uh, add to uh, basket and uh, this will uh, add your data to the uh, your basket once it is added to your basket, uh, basket just click view basket and uh, your uh, data will be uh, uh, simply downloaded from this uh, download option and uh, just click the uh, download your data option and uh, your uh, download will start and uh, your data will be uh, downloaded to your uh, computer <coughs> Once you have downloaded your data, just open your uh, ArcGIS Pro and add your data to your map and uh, then uh, we will create the This is my data so we need to uh, extract it No. So go back to your uh, RGS Pro and uh, add your uh, uh, basimetric data. Yeah, this is my download image. This is a TIFF image or GeoTIFF image which is downloaded for uh, this specific area so you can check uh, more detail or property about the data you can check it is uh, projection or uh, coordinate system uh, using the description on the property of the data 
which can see under the source tab the data is registered on this uh, spatial reference so you can if you have a steady area map or steady area polygon you can extract for your specific area and also you can match the uh, spatial reference of your uh, geotiff image in the area of interest so next we are going to use uh, uh, ArcGIS surface analysis tool to prepare the contour map and represent the basimetry in uh, using the contour representation and we will be able to see the uh, sea surface or ocean surface uh, topography you can use uh, classify to display the image more in colorful manner you can take uh, classes or five or seven classes you can change the color scheme also mm. so to create the contour map go to your geoprocessing tab in the select uh, contour or you can just write the contour here in the search sheet I will call you can get from the special and nice tool so as you can see the data range is from negative 1900 to positive uh, 1202 so you are going to use this value in order to create the counter uh, map so select your uh, geotiff image you have uh, you can give the name also you can provide or give the counter interval and in keep the other as default and finally we can run the process and we will create the to contour map Yeah. Contour is completed here. So as you can see, the sea area has it is a contour line showing uh, contour value. You can check the attribute of uh, the contour um, line. Uh, contour values here and we can also rename or label the contour and you can see so this shows that the topography of the sea level or the sea around this area so this is uh, how we can access the global basimetric uh, data and create a basimetric map so i hope you have learned something so uh, this is all about my today's tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can freely access the data and do some uh, researches related to the sea and the ocean uh, modeling and uh, planning so uh, thank you for your time see you in the next tutorial